feelings of self-loathing and unworthiness are very common, but it's a mistake to make God in the image of those feelings. Hi, I'm Warren, director here at St. Columbus. Glad you could join me for my message of the day. Someone recently said to me there was a time when they felt unworthy to come to church. I want to say three things about that. First is to say that although our feelings should never be repressed or crushed, it's, it's a mistake to think that our feelings are a true and accurate record of reality. To feel unworthy is common and it might be played out in different ways. You know, sometimes it's played out in a more visible way than others. But uh, it's, it's to say that we're unworthy to come to church is to make God in the image of those feelings. So thank God for revelation. The revelation of God, you know, God revealing the truth about God. The revelation of God in Jesus is that God doesn't share those feelings towards us. God is not made in the image of our feelings, no matter how real those feelings seem. The second thing I want to say is that church isn't about us. That's why coming to church is such a good thing if we feel unworthy, because it immediately directs our gaze to the God who loves us. So we get out of our own sort of little circle of self-loathing or or self-attack. It's it's coming to church isn't a, a therapy session where you just might talk about yourself to good effect, but actually you come and look beyond yourself to God. Now over time we come to learn to see ourselves how God sees us. We come to learn to love ourselves as God loves us. And so, but even then it's still about God and we're included. But that's a bit, bit further down the track. To begin with, if you're coming to church when you feel unworthy, the liturgy, the service, the words, the actions will take you out of yourself to God. Uh, now, a simple way to uh, address the impasse of feeling unworthy to come to church and then not coming is to, I know it's going to sound sort of simplistic, but it's actually to come to church. Uh, of course, when we come, we have to learn how to interpret what we're hearing and what we do. But as we do learn that, and that's what the words and actions of a traditional service will do for us, it helps us to learn how to look to God and actually in looking to God, how to look to ourselves. It takes time and we come to learn of God's affirmation for us and that God doesn't share those feelings towards us of any feelings of self-loathing, for instance. Another way is to do morning and evening prayer on Facebook and on YouTube. We do evening prayer once a week just so people can pray with us and also learn how to how to do the the uh, to do evening prayer or morning prayer by the prayer book. The benefit of using the prayer book is again the words will will guide us into to looking to God to get out of ourselves but actually over time to come to see ourselves as God sees us. So let's not make God uh, into our into our own feelings you know in the, in the image of our own feelings. Let's let God be God and let's uh, learn how to worship God and come to love ourselves as God loves us. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.